Hi there, hi everyone and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to announce a new course that I've just published on Udemy. It is called Practical Linux Privilege Escalation with CTF Challenges. Learn how to enumerate a Linux system to find and exploit privilege escalation attack vectors with hands-on exercises. Now, why did I create this course? Now, on the channel, you can already find a free version of this course, of the Linux Privilege Escalation course. And here on my website in xdump.sh, you go here, you go into catalog, and in the courses here, you can find the free version of Linux Privilege Escalation, and this free version will continue to be free for everyone. So this one will continue to exist. Now, what I did was starting from this uh, course, uh, I've realized that in this course, for example, they were not exercises. So the exercise were lacking in this course. So what I did is, okay, for each exploitation technique, for each uh, uh, privilege escalation technique, I've created uh, multiple exercises so you can test your knowledge, basically. That is the idea. And then, when I was preparing the exercises, I also saw that the introduction was a bit lacking, and so I recorded more episodes on the Linux operating system, on the Linux shell, and on the various commands that make up the Linux operating system. And finally, the one thing that I've expanded is the binary exploitation portion. I've added more videos with more techniques. For example, I've added videos with the RET to libc technique, which is a binary exploitation technique that abuses the libc present in the binary to achieve binary exploitation. So basically, I've expanded the course, I've added practical exercises, and so this is why I put it on Udemy. Now, let's read about what you will learn. So you will learn, you will have an introduction to the Linux operating system. You will have an introduction, for example, to the Linux file system. You will learn how to enumerate a Linux system. You will learn how to use Linux shell to perform various commands on the system, to check for processes, to uh, deal with the file system, to deal with the system information, you know, just basic usage of the Linux shell. Then you will learn how to perform a privilege escalation on a Linux system, and then there's going to be some fundamentals of binary exploitation with some specific techniques. So here you can find the course contents. So here is, there is an introduction. So let's do, zoom it here. There is an introduction. There is an introduction to Linux. So this part was expanded from the original version of the course. This part also was expanded. Here we talk about in depth all these commands. So this is about 2 hours and 40. And almost all of these videos are new. This one was taken from the third version, from the free, from the free version already present on YouTube. Then I've added this part where I talk about remote shell access. So about bind and reverse shell, how to upgrade your shell and file transfer commands. So I go a little bit more in depth on that. Then I talk about Linux enumeration. So this was already present in the free course. And then when we talk about the privilege escalation technique here, I bring for every technique different exercises. And with respect to the practical exercises that are found in the course, in the introduction section, I have this video, this 10 minutes video, where I showcase how to work with the exercises. So for example, this is the preview for the students, right? Here I can go into, let's download here, I'm going to disable my webcam to show you how it's going to work. Basically, here I can go into Linux Privilege Escalation, section 6. I can download some exercise, for example, path hijacking exercises. Notice that here I have three different zips. So, for example, there are three exercises for path hijacking, three for suid, three for sudo, and so on and so forth. Right now, there are a total of between 15 and 16 practical exercises like this. So, I downloaded the zip file here, and it's downloading, right? Then, for example, let's open here the shell with Emax. Let's go into TMP and let's create uh, like a Linux Privesque folder just to showcase the exercise. So let me download the exercise. So this was path hijacking one. So what I do is I have to unzip it. I have to unzip it. And here I find these different files. So here I have this backup.sh, Docker file, readme.org, and readme.txt. 
Now, the readme files are really important because they explain you how to work with Docker and how what you have to do for the exercise. So if we read the readme.org, for example, here, it's going to say, OK, path hijacking exercise one. The objective of the lab is to elevate privileges and pivot from the user user to the user root. Find the flag in slash root slash flag txt. You can start the Docker and log in with SSH using the credential user user, which means that the default password for user is user. And here is the command to log in with SSH. Notice that the port exposed is 1237. Now you can find a hint on how to proceed with the lab within the file home user data hint.txt. So that is the objective, and here we find the different commands. So we unzip the exercise file, we have to build the docker image with this command. Here the name, we can choose it, you can choose it however you want it, however I suggest this name, Linux Privesk Path Hijacking Lab 1. And you have to execute this within the directory of the exercise, because you have to use the docker file that was created for the challenge. Now, what I suggest you is do not read the Docker file because it might contain spoiler. So when you want to practice, just build the exercise blindly, basically. So let's do it like this here. Let's just build the Docker here. Let's put the password. And here is going to say, um, of course, not here because I, I was not in the directory. So my mistake here, I, go, I have to go into path hijacking one, then I have to do the build. And here, basically, I am building the, the Docker. So that is the idea. Here I have to wait a little bit. So now the Docker has been built. The Docker has been built. And then I can run the Docker. And I can run the Docker with this command. So I do run. I do the port to link the 1337 on the host with the 22 inside the Docker. I give this name to the, um, to the Docker container. And I have this RM so that when we stop the Docker, the container is going to be removed. So here I can just execute this command. I have created the Docker there and I can log in with SSH. I can log in with SSH and once again, the password of the user is user. Now at this point, my objective is to go into the root directory and obtain the flag, which of course I cannot do it directly because I have to do a privilege escalation. So at this point, your objective will be to understand what is the misconfiguration, understand what is the system you need to deal with, and work accordingly to get root privileges, to perform the privilege escalation. And here, in the data, here, we find an int, for example. In this case, from great pseudo powers, from great pseudo responsibilities. So you guess what is the attack path, basically. So that's the idea. Once you're done with the Docker, you can just stop the container. Now, I've created 15 containers so that you can play around with the challenges. You can see how such challenges are built and you have access to all the Docker files, to all the content of the various challenges. So that's the idea. Most of these challenges are all about logging in with SSH, becoming user and then becoming root through a privilege escalation. There are, however, exercises with respect to the latest one. So let's go into the latest exercises with the red to libc, with the exercise on red to libc. Here, let me remove my webcam here. So here I show different techniques to use the same, like to use red to libc in the context of 32 bit without randomization, 64 bit without randomization, and 64 bit with randomization, basically with ISLR bypass, which is we, first we have to leak an address and then we can perform the attack. Now in these exercises, uh, things are slightly different, not too much, but slightly different in the sense that uh, you don't have to log in in order to find the privilege escalation path, but you can interact with a binary that is exposed over a TCP port. So let's once again put the zip in here. I suggest you put all the exercise in the same folder. Then you can unzip the exercise here. You can go into here. Once again, here you have all the, um, all the readme with the information and you can use both the .org and the .txt. So file, both files, uh, you can use both of them basically. So in this case, uh, for this exercise, you need to disable ASLR because it is assumed that you don't have randomization. For the latest one of the three, you don't need to disable ASLR because we're gonna have a bypass for randomization. 
So what you do is you unzip the exercise file. Once again, you build the Docker image. So let's go here. Let's see this Docker file. Let's build the Docker image. So then we run the container. We run the container. So we have to wait a, a bit for it to, to build, basically. So now the challenge has been obtained. Here we can run the Docker. Now at this point, for these other exercises, we can once again connect with SSH. So we still have SSH connection to interact with the machine. But there is one more way in which we can interact with the challenge. And this is through a TCP port. So basically, the container will expose two ports. The 1337 for the SSH connection and the 1338 for the binary. So we can use netcat. Here I have a simple netcat installation. We can use netcat. We can use netcat to go inside here the container, port 1338, and here we interact with a binary, basically. And the point of the challenge is to exploit this binary. First, find the vulnerability, exploit the vulnerability, and by exploiting the vulnerability, you will become root, and you will, achieve, you will have achieved privilege escalation. So that is the idea. So basically that's the idea. And to finish off the video, let's read the description. So the Linux operating system plays a foundational role in powering the service that run the internet of today. Now, how do you make sure that a Linux deployment is secure? How do you make sure that it does not contain misconfigurations that could allow a user to escalate privileges and become the administrator, which in Linux is called the root user? This course covers the most useful techniques you need to know in order to enumerate a modern Linux OS deployment to find and exploit privilege escalation attack vectors. Consider this question. Are you interested in working in the security industry and do you want to learn how to test the security of a Linux operating system deployment? And do you like hands-on practice-based learning? If you answer yes, then this course is for you. In this course, I will show you how to test the security of a Linux OS deployment. And for each technique, I have prepared custom exercises in the form of hands-on CTF challenges that will challenge your understanding and bring it to the next level. Now, feel free to check out the table of contents in order to understand the arguments. Thank you very much. And for any question, criticism, and feedback, you can always write to me. So this course is for cybersecurity enthusiasts about uh, Linux privilege escalation, about binary exploitation, people interested in working in the security industry, and people interested about security in general. Now, here I have another course, by the way. So if you're interested, I also have another course, which is the, the one on the web, the practical web application validation testing. But for now, we're talking about the Linux privilege escalation. So this is it for this course. If you have any question, feel free to write in the comments. In the following days, I will talk more about it and I will talk more about other support systems that I want to bring you to my students. So if you enroll both in this course or in the other one, I will, um, you know, I will talk more about it, how I can support you more in the future. And so this is it for this video. In the next days, I will talk more about the course and I will talk more about uh, new support systems that I want to implement to support my students. If you buy this course or if you buy the other one on web, I will uh, have more platforms in which you can ask questions and we can apply platforms that are not related to Udemy, but are going to be hosted on my own servers. So basically that is the idea. Now for this video, this is it. I just wanted to announce the course. If you have any feedback, feel free to leave it in the comments. Thank you very much and to the next video.